Hi, this is a demo of uh, how to set up Jitsi Meet Room in Blackboard Learn as an LTI tool. First, we're going to test how it works and then we'll get into the setup. So I'm logged in right now into the course. Uh, I'm logged in as an instructor. However, a student would perform uh, the same steps. We'll go to Tools and uh, we have our Jitsi Room ready to go. We'll go ahead and execute it. The LTI link connects us to a unique room and um, I am able to uh, provide uh, the name of the person who's joining. And uh, hello there, we are now inside of uh, Jitsi Meet. Uh, you can see we can uh, start collaborating with uh, other students and instructors who are joining uh, this particular room. Now we continue to have reference to the class, so we can go ahead and uh, return to the course and uh, work here as well. So how do we set this up? Well, we're going to create an LTI um, placement and uh, feel free to use the publicly available apps.data2.com. Um, create a new placement, uh, make sure to uh, call it something reasonable and uh, you can provide a little bit of description. Uh, you can use Jitsi as the handle. We're going to make it available and it's going to be a course tool available to students. That, that way, instructors who log into the class can join this room as well as students. Then we're going to uh, make sure to have a nice little icon so that uh, visually this tool is going to be recognized by students. And uh, this is uh, our reference to the um, LTI tool, that's the URL. Now you can register for the tool provider in secret for this domain. Uh, however, uh, this is uh, publicly uh, available. And so this is going to produce the uh, LTI tool as we saw uh, working. Now, as far as the code goes, if you would like to uh, run this uh, application on your own servers uh, uh, at your school, um, and quick note here, you can actually take the entire Jitsi video service. It's an open source uh, project. You can run that on campus, and because now you are managing the whole thing, you can make it HIPAA, uh, FERPA and compliant with whatever regulations uh, you're required uh, to follow. And uh, this uh, uh, code um, is going to be uh, uh, fairly simple, uh, just two lines. Uh, now I used to write uh, code that had hundreds of lines. Uh, I tend to write uh, shorter code now. So uh, here it is. So we're going to uh, pick uh, the course uh, name and then we'll follow it with uh, um, 10 characters of uh, a strong encryption hash, making sure that uh, this uh, room is going to have a unique name. And then we'll go ahead and launch it into the Meet Jitsi room. So if you are going to host Jitsi service on your own campus, you then modify uh, this location to uh, whatever uh, your uh, server and domain might be. All right, so this is just a quick, um, quick uh, intro into the plugin for LTI plugin for uh, uh, LMS systems. Thank you.